Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. I'm Martin, this is the Whiteboard, and we're learning about all things IT asset management. This week, CMDB. What is a CMDB and what value does it bring? So imagine Lewis Hamilton, the motorsport driver, has just won Silverstone in the UK. He's won that race and in order to complete the championship and win, he needs to go down to Italy, to Monza, to win that race and then he's won the entire championship. The truck carrying his favourite cars has a blowout on the motorway and the truck is stranded halfway to Italy. Now, you don't need to understand anything about motorsport or Formula One to understand that a truck having a blowout with the key cargo on it is going to have an impact. We can make that connection. In CMDB terms, this wheel having a blowout would be called a configuration item or a CI. It's a configuration item that underpins the service being delivered by the business. And what a CMDB does, it collects all of these configuration items, it tells you how they're related and how they're going to impact the service being delivered to the business. If we take an IT example, you might have um, Arsenal Football Club and they're selling tickets, football, uh, football match tickets for the big game at the end of the season and they might have this e-commerce set up um, and they might have a, a cluster of servers or a cloud service, they might have a um, hypervisor, virtual machine, operating system, uh, database, web server, blah blah blah, lots of technical items and if one of these things blows out uh, it's not so obvious that it's going to have an impact on the tickets because IT stuff is, it, we can't make that connection as, as, as obvious as the tyre on the truck yet this is the equivalent of the tyre going on the truck if that goes the entire tickets for the final go. So the, the configuration management database allows us to see how things are connected and the relevance to the business. So you might be thinking uh, a CMDB is full of IT assets that underpin services. That sounds very close to a asset database for asset management and it is uh, but there are very important differences between ITAM and CMDB and we'll cover that on the next video. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.